Welcome back to Mr. T B TV and our series on creating websites. Okay, today's episode is going to be on creating one of those fancy hover style menus on your website. So when you're hovering over a piece of text, you can have uh, menus that pop up and, and float down over the website. Okay, now I... Um, with this kind of stuff, I'm a big believer in not reinventing the wheel when we don't have to. So there's perfectly good menu systems already available for, uh, for websites designers to use. So let's just download one and use that. Now uh, this one's fairly straightforward to use and it is called Superfish. You'll see here that I have downloaded the file Superfish uh, 1.4.8.zip. Uh, the link to download this file is uh, on the portal um, just uh, the same on the same page where this video clip is. Okay, so I've downloaded the zip file. What do I need to do? Uh, extract the zip file. Okay, so I've created a Superfish folder, and it's given me these files inside of it. Now, with these files, you just need to take the CSS, the images, and the JS folder and move them to your website folder. Okay, so now I have CSS images and JS inside my main website folder. And I can actually just delete uh, these two now if I wanted to. I'm not going to, but I could. Um, with that, the file side of things is done. Let's go to Dreamweaver. Okay, so here's my website, as exciting as it is. And I'm just going to create some dot point lists of links. So, to do this, in where is it? No, it's format list unordered list. Okay, and you'll see that that's given me a dot. So, let's say I want to make uh, menus of different social media sites that I follow. Okay, uh, so there's Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and it's not really a social media site, but let's stick on the book portal on here. And then within each of these, who are, who are some people? So there's, uh, well, there's myself, uh, there's the school, uh, that'll do for Twitter. Let's go to oops. Let's go to Facebook. Um, again, there's myself. Oops. My school. YouTube. There's Mr. B T V. And there's. And then in the portal, what's the page off of the portal that interests me? Let's go for applied IT. Okay, so I've created. This is going to become my menu. So the Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Elmbrook portal are going to be my main menu items, and these are going to be the sub items that pop, uh, pop up and appear. Okay, let's just give this a little bit of space. All right. Next thing I want to do is create the links for each of these. So highlight Twitter, insert hyperlink. Okay, the text is Twitter. The link is going to be http www.twitter.com. All right, and then the Twitter link to my page. Insert hyperlink. www or not for a lot of these sites. All right, I'm just going to uh, pause the recording and finish the rest of these. All right, welcome back. So all I've done is I've created these links 
uh, that I want in my menu. Okay, now how do I turn this into a really stylish, cool looking menu system? All right, on the same page of the portal where this menu is and where the link to that zip file is, uh, will also be uh, some text, some code. All right, just copy and paste this code. And on your code page, go up to where it says title, insert a blank line, and paste just there, just underneath your title line. Okay? Oops. All right. And the only other thing we need to do is let's come down here to our menu now. And you'll see here we've got body, div container, div content, UL, LIA, click on the UL, and go to code, all right, and that shows you where the UL is there at the start of the selected, selected bit. So let's click on the UL, and inside here, okay, so space, all right, so before the closing triangle, type class equals, open double quotes, sf dash menu, close the double quotes. Okay, so we've gone uh, open triangle brackets, ul space class equals, open quote, sf dash menu, close the quote, close the triangle brackets. And that is it. It is done. If I now go to design, all of a sudden we'll see here we've got our menu system. If I save this, okay, and take a look at it in Safari, let's reload this, there it is. And as I hover over each of these, we'll get the sub-menus that I created. So there you have it. It's as easy as that to create a really nice little hover over menu. You can uh, play with the settings for this to change the colors, uh, and um, effects on it. Uh, you can also, instead of having it as a horizontal menu, you can also have the first menu appear as a vertical one. Uh, um, if you wanted to do any of that kind of stuff, just give me a yell in class and I will show you where you need to start poking around and where you can find some examples. So that's it. Have fun making some menus for your website. <laughs>